Hello, hello. So this is the way I actually disable the uh, built-in graphics chip in the CPU because I'm not using it. I'm using a NVIDIA graphics card instead and I don't want the CPU graphics, uh, so to speak, to be enabled and do weird stuff. So this is how I do it on the Asus motherboard that I have. It's, it's the Z170-P. Right now you can see that I am in the sort of easy mode. What I need to do is go to the advanced mode down here. You can either use the mouse. I actually prefer to use the keyboard because the mouse is very sensitive here. So you press F7 to get to advanced mode. And then I go to a menu called advanced and then I go down to a thing called system agent SA configuration which is right over there and press enter and then I go down to the graphics configuration over here press enter and then what I do is that I actually go first to the iGPU multi-monitor and I actually disable that and what I do next is that I actually go to exit save changes and reset so that it would change it and then you need to go into the BIOS again and go back and then you have to select the primary display because when you disable this it will this will say will be on uh, oops uh, it will actually be on uh, the auto settings so what you need is to do actually go to the set it to PCIe if you set it to CPU graphics it will only show the CPU graphics the Intel one but you need to set it to PCIe here and when that is done uh, only the so the NVIDIA graphics card or AMD graphics card will show up in the device manager under the graphics adapter. Or, yeah, I think it's graphics adapter. So that's how you actually disable the built-in graphics chip on the uh, Intel Core i5 and i7s and i3s. So yeah, and then you just save changes and reset and for you it might be saying a bunch of the different settings here that you change but and then you just reboot so yeah that's how you do it